The older niggas was really gang banging, but South Side, East Side, you feel me? They running through a ch this shit. I seen niggas running through with chains and bats, and I'm yeah. talking about fucking each other up for real on some real gladiator type shit. You feel me? Right. Like it used to be on some real hoops, <laughs> man. When I was young, and, I, and I used to be like ride through on my bike. I had my radio strapped to my bike like <laughs> young nigga shit. You feel me? Did you have the mags on the bike with the pads? Man, I probably, yeah, probably, okay, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't matter. You want to do it? No, no, bike. You ain't had that on the wall. But no, nigga, I was on this one. Mountain bikes was at the superior, nigga. That came, that with the shocks on. Remember the mountain bike with yeah. the shocks on yeah. the front? Yeah. Man, that's what I had, man. So I take radio on that bitch. You know, you gotta put the little card in there so it sound like your shit sound like a motor, you feel me? <laughs> but, but. In the wheel. <laughs> I bring Chevy I bring to the studio, right? Scummy D, he on some ho shit, you he feel me? He on some ho yeah. shit. Come on, he, uh, he bring the hoes to the studio. We in the studio. I forgot what the song we was making. I don't know if it was. Uh, I forgot what the song was. Because it wasn't hot, bro. I was no. <laughs> no, matter of fact. This song was hot. What was it? This song was hot. Yeah. Nigga, this shit was like 20 something years ago. I remember ago. that we be getting though. No, no, no that's that ain't hot. hot. I, but that's hot. That's Nigga. hot. Okay, cool. Fuck you. So man. we making a song and shit. And, and it's me, Craig, and Scummy on, on the song. I, I, I know the nigga <laughs> Jay. Uh, what's the studio we was going to? Loonside. Loonside. Shout out Loonside, who produced all the Southside nigga records. No, man. real shit. That's when Chevy. Got out and, and Chevy out. was out. He was at the studio with me. Okay. So Scummy started on being on some some fool shit. Like he started like putting out all these ones and shit and acting crazy. Well, so like so Crack was he peeped it. He like yeah. He like right, showing off in front of the little. He showing off in front of the dope fingers. I was there. Yeah. That was, was the first time he took me to the studio where he was at doing what he was doing. That ain't when you became Red Brothers though. Yeah. yeah. Not yet, not quite. Okay, yeah, I was just expecting. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. So, so, crack like, <laughs> crack like, he in the session. So we all done laid our verses down and shit, but now we just popping our, Scummy ain't let crack do his verse. He, ah, he talking in the middle of crack verse. Cause the mic like right there, you gotta be quiet. You feel me? So he on some bullshit, crack in the session, boom. Oh, boy. Cause crack paying for the session, you feel yeah. me? Uh. Boom, we leave. I don't talk to crack for a minute. So in the meantime, I'm hustling, I'm calling him. I'm living my life, you feel me? So I finally get an answer crack. I'm like, damn, what's up, bro? He's like, no, nah, man, fuck that nigga scummy, man. He was on some bullshit that night, man. Okay. I say, well, shit, man. I got bro. Did he, did he I got time. Did he tell scummy that on some gangster shit? No, he just cut him off. He just cut him off, period. He didn't even fuck with him no more. After that, that night, he ain't fuck with him no more. Say nothing to him. To this day. To this <laughs> day. Nah, y'all gotta understand, man. It's crack. You know, it's, it's some real nigga shit. To tell a nigga what's up when he did fucked you over in some type of way, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, you know, we're brothers, and you know, treated the nigga like a brother, man. The nigga scummy, so when he was looking at me crazy, it's like I was doing my verse, and the little chicks was over to the side and shit, you know what I mean? My was on and shit, you know what I'm in my mode. And then I glanced to the side, because he keep talking and shit. I keep hearing shit in my verse and shit. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Well, I glanced to the side and he grimming me. He's like evil, mean mug, grim stare. And I'm like, damn, this is quick though. You know what I'm saying? I'm still rapping while all this shit going on. It's quick and I seen it. And as I'm looking at him, I glanced down and he got on the shoes I bought him. You feel me? So it's like. For the type of dude I was to him, you know, the money he flashed in in front of the hoes, I had a platform for him to get that money, you know, so it was more offensive for what I was to him. Like, if it was somebody else and they grimming me, nigga, I'm gonna grim you back and we gonna keep rolling, ain't nothing, nigga, you, you probably had a demon in you from the blunt or something. But other than that, nigga, nah, nigga, so, like, down there, this the podcast, in the trenches, you witnessing Chevy in blue. Shake and go cuts. That's the host. You know what I'm saying? I'm Brad Brother Crack. I wouldn't formally introduce. I'm the third group member or whatever. But when it comes to the scummy shit, man, it is what it is, man. I have, the reason I ain't talk to him is because I know me, man. You know, when I get to check it, a nigga and tell him what he did, 
and how you was wrong and shit, I'm gonna feel away when you start denying the shit, when I know what it is, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. We got Chevy, when we got Chevy, man, there wasn't no looking back, like, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful replacement, uh, cause it's all about the talent. I ain't saying Scummy wasn't talented, I'm saying Chevy was more talented, you know what I'm saying? So, I could elaborate a lot more, you know, it's a lot more I could put in there, but I ain't trying to really disrupt the, uh, the move of the show or whatever. As far as where I grew up, nigga, I grew up, born and raised Detroit, you know what I'm saying? I grew up most of my life in Holly Park, man, 4th and 3rd. So everybody on my block know what it is, you know what I'm saying? I was the last motherfucker off the porch and shit, but highly respected because I had to fight my way up. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker thought it was sweet, had to show him it wasn't. So by the time I got the jack, man, fucked over blue, man, you know what I'm saying? Blue, me, blue, and scummy. You know, scummy felt the way. I put blue in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? He felt the way, but oh, man, we don't really need nobody else. But you know what I'm saying? I seen something blue because he was out there getting money. He was a young nigga, and he was out there getting money, and he meant it. You feel what I'm saying? He wasn't out there for play. There was no time for play. You know what I'm saying? So, for me to see that in a, a young guy so young, it uh, motivated me to just shit, nigga. Come on, shit, bro. This is what I'm doing. You don't fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? So, he seen what I was doing. He respected it. So, he came on through. And the scummy story happened. The scummy went his way, wherever the fuck he went. And here comes Chevy. Chevy on the car of CMC. You know what I'm saying? Something special. So... I like to clip it in and put it in, man. I'm going to go on the rest of the show, man. It's uh, like the Brad Brothers interview, man. Uh, shout out to Shake and Go Cuts for making it happen, man. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Kyle Locked Up, man. Pooh Dog, my nigga. Shout out, man. I love you, Ricky. So, uh, he be out soon, and we're going to get to this business, man. All right, back to the show, man. Thanks for listening. Say that. Say that. You hear me? The right so, way. he like that. Right Fuck that nigga. He was on some bullshit. And, and, and truthfully, I'm riding with crack at this time because we in the streets with each other. You feel me? And we really in the streets. And I, I'm i like, shit, fuck that nigga for real. You feel me? <laughs> if he disrespected you and if you felt like he disrespected you as a... See, I was a young kid standing on grown man principles. So if you felt like he disrespected you, bro, fuck that nigga. Mm. Because he disrespected you. And I kind of felt that shit too, my nigga. He was on some bullshit, you right. Because he was. I ain't know what the fuck we doing. <laughs> yeah, he ain't know what was going Goddamn circus. <laughs> hey. Chevy become a bread brother. I tell <clears throat> crack about Chevy, Wooty Woo Bop fam. That's how I come together. I tell Chevy, man, you in, man. You a bread brother, nigga. We finna. So our first song we do, we in my apartment in the projects in the one bedroom. You feel me? We in that bitch and it was. What was it? Uh, the trenches the <laughs> the one bed uh, room. It was off the club. Off in the club. The trenches boss and the crack play that and shit. I know that was fuck what else you get touched. I'm the home of the play. That's what I'm saying. I'm the home of the play. 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 I'm as a, oh, bread, as a bread brother, that was yeah, his first word. No first. disrespect, but y'all was little niggas talking like We was 18. We was, we was little niggas. y'all was little niggas talking like that. Baby, nigga, I was a grown man. We was little niggas doing that. What you niggas talking niggas about? Nigga, I was a grown man. I had a crib and a baby, nigga, in the oven, nigga. Nigga, my nigga, boss. Fuck with us, you get in touch. I know some fake ass niggas that be talking too much. We clutching the bus. Ain't no fear in us. I'm eating this crap. I'm eating this crap. I'm eating this crap. I'm eating this crap. Don't act with me, my casualties are stacking Jesus, I'm taking protection on me, I'm taking protection on me, gotta stay on me, cause I stay on me. The big face might keep me alive, and I'm yelling at to the day that I die, and I put that on my own, like my own is right, I know I'm on right. I sleep some K's tonight, and I'm coming to take your light. You're on blue, a little trick of a lesson, go test them, I'm just dying, 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 I'm just He's going crazy. We was young niggas, man. Really, really doing that shit. We talking about and we in the trenches, right? We in the trenches. Can we get we get shout out to Detroit? For shout sure, out to the city, Detroit. man. Because this was before the time. This was before I was rapping. I was in the city. Talking about 
about? That nigga, he put on. So we ain't even got to there yet, though. We, but that all that shit was through that time. That's I'm trying to get these but parts we was on Cheddar Boys, boys. we was on Into Street Lords. Lords, we was on Rock Bottom. That we was on all that shit. Into Will. Into Later Will. on, but first, I got introduced to Rock Bottom, to Cheddar, Boys, Cheddar Boys, Street sure. Lords. You feel sure. me? We had a few uh, on, on the same floor, right? Anybody from that? Yeah, yeah. Big Hurts, you feel me? Cherry Boy Malik, Shout out Malik, Shout out You feel me? Hurts, I'm out nothing about it. That's what it is, you feel me? They really, but, hey, they really in the trenches, y'all. They ain't have me to host it. They trying but, to take but, over and be their own host. This, that, that. All right, Big Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> no, on some real shit, y'all. Pause. <laughs> That's our last time. <laughs> He paused. He paused on the beat. I'ma take his chain. I'ma take his chain. No, you talk about chain. It's crazy. You take chain. It's crazy. Man, listen. Hey, grab the strap. No, listen. I didn't wear this. Hey, they got that big bitch. I 